Kowalski from Miss Week at the World Metro Opera, and I am happy to say I'm with the Labo M cast today. Uh, let's have everyone introduce ourselves and say who we're singing this afternoon. I'm Colleen Daly, and I'll be singing Musetta. Harold Mears, Rodolfo. Jan Cornelius, Mimi. Michael Mays, Marcello. Ben LeClaire, Colvine. Brandon Hendrickson, Schoenard. Fantastic. Okay, let's start off by talking about La Boheme for a moment. This is probably the world's most popular opera. What is it that you like about it? I love how the characters are so relatable and the music is so instantly visceral. Um, I think it comes down to the, to the music for me. Um, Tenor. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I mean, it's great. It's some great it's music to sing. Uh, beautiful tunes. Um, a lot of it has to do with the music, but as with any piece, you know, it's got to be more than one thing to make it a masterpiece. Sure. Several mm -hmm. things got to come together. Um, I think we're we're lucky in the way that we have a cast that really loves each other right now, and so um, in it is even easier to be a part of this opera, which is very realistic. Well, I think that's what's it's so special about DMMO is because the theater is so intimate. <coughs> so many times you've seen like the Zeffirelli production at the Met, which is just bigger and more yeah. mind-boggling than anything that you could possibly imagine. And that lends itself well to the music, because the music is so grand, but the music is also so intimate and visceral. Mm -hmm. And when you have a space like this, I think it's a lot easier to sort of distill it down to the details that may get lost in a bigger space with more grand gestures. We can mm -hmm. make it more realistic and make it more like theater. And that's, a lot of our patrons tell us that. They get a feeling when they're here that they're almost intruding on what's mm -hmm. happening on stage. Mm -hmm. it's, the, it's a it's less of a feeling of they're getting in the way and more of a feeling of they are allowed into this the backstage. That's right. right. That's mm -hmm. exactly right. Because you guys are acting within sometimes feet of the people We're who are watching you sing. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Uh, does that lend itself to any different style of acting or performance. It is kind of funny, because sometimes there'll be somebody, because uh, I was here last year, so yeah. I was doing the Counts Aria, and I was like, rah, rah, and I looked over, and there was a guy, <laughs> like I level like this. Uh, no. <laughs> I was like, ah, rah, 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 wake you up, you know? <laughs> but I, had, I, was, I saw that uh, performance, and I was right there in the first row, and I almost felt like you were yelling at me. Yes, <laughs> yeah, uh, so there is that feeling of that you're right there, and uh, that going to take you out of it if you see someone snoring or. I think it makes you have to tap into something a lot more real, sure. and you can't, you can't, like you said earlier, opera act. You can't be on the stage and grand gestures. You have to. They can see you as if you're on film, as if you're on TV. So you have to really be honest and. They can subtle. read every little, yeah, subtlety on your right. face and in more. your singing, definitely. Mm -hmm. And on a traditional proscenium stage, you know, we're blasted with lights. Uh, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but right. I'm almost never aware of the audience. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah know, true. And then suddenly now you're stepping out and, and being out there. It's it it is it has a very different feel to it on, on the other side, you know, on our side of it as well. I think that's sort of been a overall change in the industry itself, uh, between theaters like ours or the live and HD broadcast, there's much more, uh, much more stock being put into how actors and singers look uh, as opposed to how they sound. So it just makes it all the more tough for you guys. Luckily, we have probably the six best looking people in Central Iowa right now. Uh, so and a we great are... gym to boot. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Absolutely. So, got to ask, favorite opera? Every show is playing, ever written, is playing at the same time you have one ticket. What are you going to see? Wow. Oh, that's different. What do you mm -hmm. want to sing versus wow. what do you want to see? Yeah. What do I want to oh, sing versus what do I want to sing? Cat, it's an ideal cast for each one. Oh, crap. Yeah. So what does we want to go like? Go watch. What do you want to go watch? Oh. Yes. Believe it or not, not everyone are opera singers, so uh, <laughs> we want to have, make it relatable to that. Yeah. Maybe either La Traviata or Otello. No? Yeah, I do love La Traviata. Hmm. Um, but if the cast was really good, 
It's out for heaven. That's really good. Madonna Butterfly. Okay. So Puccini cast. I was going to say Tosca, preferably with uh, with Tabaldi singing all the time. Okay. <laughs> and George London. Yeah, and right London, on. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Kaufman could be in the movie. You can listen to the record of that at least. I got that. Yeah. It's gorgeous. How about you, Michael? It would be it would be Tosca or Ringletto. Okay. Since they're all playing at the same time, I was thinking I'd go to a Pagliacci first. Mm -hmm. And then sneak into. <laughs> now you're bending the rules. Right? <laughs> you know, like you go to the movie theater, all the movies are playing at the same time. So Pagliacci gets done. Double in an hour and a half. Yeah, it's usually a double feature. It's a good system. I love it. Then you catch, um, like, Acts 2 3, whatever it is, of, uh, like, Low and Grim. Okay. Or uh, Time Wizard. Because mm -hmm. you have so much left. Because those are wonderful shows when they're well done, too. Sure. I should also mention <laughs> that in Opera Heaven, the ring cycle is playing from. <laughs> All the time, the constant just, yeah. How would you? Oh, I would say Rigoletto or Falstaff. Okay. Somewhere Mozart is upset. Oh, I love Mozart. 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 The oh. rules of opera hell for me is it's Vasek all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all the time nothing else. Uh, sung by fifth graders. That's <laughs> opera hell. Uh, <laughs> Charlotte Church and Andrea Bocelli. Oh, sorry. What's that other game then? Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, but, but you, uh, oh, the oh, America's the Got Talent. Oh. The two oh, little girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. She doesn't know ours either, and she's going to love her. Well, anyway, thank you so much to the brilliant cast of La Boheme. I, I want to thank you for speaking with me today. I am Nick Minkowski for Des Moines Metro Opera. This has been This Week at DMMO. We'll see you next week at DMMO. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it.